welcome back to She Tried It. I already made a video about reading knit patterns, and if you missed that video, you can check it out here. But let's face it, some people just want to knit and have no interest in learning how to read a pattern, and that's perfectly fine. Although I definitely lean more towards getting a pattern and letting the designer do the hard part for me, so all I have to do is knit the exact number of stitches for my size, I'm not above getting my hands dirty and making something I've always wanted to make. Today we're doing just that. Let's make the perfect Ruana following seven easy steps, with a few sub steps included. As usual, there will be timestamps in the description box below, but without any further ado, let's hop right into it. For the sake of this video, I already decided I wanted to make a Ruana, but regardless of what you want to make, always start with a concept in mind. For those of you familiar with my channel, I crocheted a Ruana very early on in my fiber journey from Not Yourself Out. It was my very first pattern I ever read, and honestly, I would like to have something slightly similar in a knitted version, but more fitted. This is when you go to Instagram, Ravelry, Pinterest, honestly any place you think you might get a bit of inspiration. For me, I'm really going off something I already made. I simply want a thick, cozy Ruana that I can pair on a cool day with a simple black shirt and leggings or a t-shirt and jeans. As I've said many times before, because cold weather is so minimal here in Texas, I would love something I could also wear when it's a bit warm outside. There are a few vibes I'm hoping this Ruana gives me. One, I'm looking for rich auntie vibes. Two, I'm looking for off-duty yoga instructor vibes. Three, I'm looking for it's a rainy day so I'm gonna head to a coffee shop vibes. I also want the ability to dress this Ruana up or down. With that in mind, let's hop on to step two. Today's video is using the yarn from none other than Expression Fiber Arts. I'm sure y'all have heard of them, but if you haven't, it's a luxury yarn brand run by a lovely lady over here on YouTube named Shandy. Her channel is filled with amazing tutorials and tips for knitting and crochet. Words can't express how much she and her channel have helped me along in my fiber and YouTube journey. Of course, I'll be sure to link Shandy's YouTube and Instagram, as well as her Expression Fiber Arts website in the description box below. Like I said, this is a luxury yarn brand. So I already knew that whatever yarn I chose was going to be top of the line. Since I wanted this Ruana to keep me warm, I opted for a bulky yarn. So I headed straight to the website to figure her bulky yarns. The one that immediately stood out to me was the fudge brownie buttery bulky color. This color, this chocolate brown, absolute perfection. I knew this brown was going to go great with my skin tone and the superwash merino wool with nylon blend for softness and strength was going to feel like heaven on my skin. I mean, it did say buttery in the title, come on. I reached out to Shandy and asked her for some of her gorgeous yarn, which she kindly gifted for this video. Most people would classify me as a pretty advanced knitter, but if I had my way, I wouldn't do anything more than knitting or purling. And if we're being honest, I don't do much more than that. Anything more advanced than that tends to make my stomach hurt. There are tons of amazing stitches that can be made with knitting and purling. Actually, there's a helpful video that I'll link in the description box below that shows you tons of stitches you can make using only knits and purls. I did explore three stitches before I began. One was the simple and classic stockinette stitch with knits in the front and purls in the back. Two was the same simple stockinette stitch but with a fun row of pearls in the front. And three was a simple garter stitch which is just all knits. I'm a very simple person so I went with the classic stockinette stitch but I still think all these stitches were great with this yarn. You probably thought that if you didn't follow a pattern you could skip this step. However, I would argue gauge swatches are even more important when you're just winging it. Had I not done a gauge swatch, I would have been clueless on how wide and how long to make this Ruana, and I wouldn't have any clue how much yarn to get from Expression Fiber Arts. If you're unfamiliar with gauge, no worries. I discussed it in my recent video about reading a knit pattern, and I'll also link below some amazing videos Shandy's done on gauge swatching. As y'all know, I absolutely love the process of knitting up a piece. I find it so relaxing and exciting. I love being out and about and somebody asking me what I'm making. I love being with my boyfriend and putting the yarn to his face so he can see how soft it is. I even love just daydreaming about how cute it's gonna look when I'm done. The biggest tips when knitting are to try it on as you go, check your gauge, and enjoy the process. 
The construction of my Ruana was very simple. I can't emphasize enough how simple of a person I am. First, I started by making a large rectangle. This was the back of my Ruana. I knew exactly how many rows and stitches to do because of my handy dandy gauge swatch. Once my desired length was reached, on the following row, I put a little less than half of the stitches on some scrap yarn and then I binded off six stitches for my neck. I then continued knitting as usual with the remaining stitches to complete the front panel. Next, I picked up the stitches on the scrap yarn and completed the other front panel. After that, I seamed up the sides and I was done. This is the part some people dread, but I actually look forward to it because weaving in the ends is your last step. I'll link below some great tutorials for weaving in ends, and of course, one of them will be from Shandy. My advice is always just dedicate a separate day to weaving in ends so it doesn't feel so overwhelming. And then it's all done and I love it. Huge thanks to Expression Fiber Arts for making my perfect Ruana a reality. This came out even better than I hoped. And this has to be one of the softest yarns ever. That's all I have for today. Don't forget to check the description box below for all the things I mentioned in this video. Thank you so much to Shandy and Expression Fiber Arts for providing this lovely yarn and giving me an opportunity to share her amazing company with all of you. I was fangirling so hard when I reached out to Expression Fiber Arts for a collaboration and none other than Shandy was the person that emailed me back. Literally a dream come true. This was such a great experience and I can't wait to get my hands on more yarn in the future. And since I made some slight modifications with the size of my Ruana, I actually have some yarn left over. So maybe I can actually knit that hat that I've been wanting to make for myself. We'll see. Anyways, see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so let's look a bit closer at how I styled this Ruana which I don't know if you should call it a Ruana or a vest, but the intention was to make it like a Ruana. Anyway, starting from the top, I put my head in this little poof ponytail. I really need to wash my hair, which I'm gonna do a little bit later, most likely. And it's just in a ponytail or a puff, whatever you wanna call it. And then I wrapped this little taupe beige headscarf around it that I got from Amazon. Um, this necklace is from Ana Luisa and they gifted me this necklace and this bracelet. I have on my Ana Luisa jewelry today. If you're not familiar with Ana Luisa, you can check out this video that I did and I talked all about their brand. They're a sustainable brand. They have amazing jewelry, great prices, affordable. It's made in New York. You should definitely check them out because they have some really great options. And with Christmas right around the corner, it's a perfect time to buy someone some jewelry. Next, we have my amazing Ruana, which looks gorgeous. I absolutely love how it turned out. It has so much texture to it. It's so soft. And this was unintentional, but because I did the stock in it stitch, the sleeves kind of roll in. And I really love that look because it looks like that pronounced shoulder look, which I think is so cool. Next, I have on my white t-shirt from Walmart, jeans from Old Navy. And I have been so into clogs, which I've told y'all before. And these are my fun cow print clogs with the dark brown, which I I feel like goes really well with the Ruana color of the brown. That's how I styled it today and I am loving how it looks. So no disappointments here. Definitely get your hands on some Expression Fiber Arts yarn.